everybody Ann here and look what I got my parents sent me this from LL Bean it is a jacket and it's plaid it's like a gray plaid with some red and some green in it it's lined it is so warm it's got these big deep pockets on it I just love it so much so thanks mom and dad yay I love it so I don't know I've had some drama recently <laughs> not a big deal but um, I was in town door dashing and I went to the Goodwill and I found another like jacket to wear while I work and I also spotted a big dog bed that um, my neighbor could use and it was only seven dollars and ninety nine cents so it's big enough for both of her dogs to fit on uh, fit on top of so I went ahead and picked that up and I was wearing another jacket and I wanted to donate that jacket to Goodwill and just use the other one that I bought because um, it's real slick looking and it fits me great. Well, I had my DoorDash card in that pocket of my old jacket and I took it out and um, I thought I had put it into the front pocket of my purse, but I think I put it through the little belt part and it just fell through because I couldn't find it. And so I can't dash without the card. Um, you know, I called them and asked what I should do and they said, you can still dash, but you'll have to decline the orders that um, require a a red card to pay with. Um, and that's not good because what happens is you don't always know if you have to pay with a red card or not. You just kind of get used to the merchants and I don't know the merchants well enough to know which one requires payment with a red card and which one doesn't. Um, and I didn't want to affect the customers because you pick one, you know, you accept an order and then if you decline it, you know, like midstream after you find out it requires a, a red card to pay with, well, then that's going to delay the delivery to the customer. So I decided to go ahead and report my red card uh, lost or stolen and ordered a new one. And it takes a couple days. So this happened on Tuesday. Luckily, Monday, I had a great day door dashing. I had this huge catering order. It's the first catering order I had. It was like $250 almost of food that they ordered. Um, and then they had ice and they had two gallons of drinks. And um, it was an $18.15 $18.50 order and I uh, got a $3 cash tip from the girl and so and I had a, that day Monday was a great day I was able to make, make another small payment on my lot and um, buy a bunch of stuff that I needed so it was good but um, Tuesday morning I got a big $10 order right off the bat and then my card <laughs> went missing so Tuesday I ordered um, a new card and hopefully it will come today so I can get back to dashing because I can't even put myself on the schedule unless I have a red card. So um, I don't know. I'm hoping it'll come soon so I can get back to working because I was doing so good. I was on a roll and it just kind of bums me out a little bit but that's okay. Um, I know that DoorDash is going to work for me now. I know that I'm going to be able to make enough money to be able to do what I want to do, you know, get my, my bills paid. And I really only got two, well, three. Um, and the biggest one is my lot payment, and it's only $200 a month. So, um, and then my phone, of course, and insurance and that kind of stuff. Um, so, hopefully, I'll be able to get back to door dashing. Hopefully, today it's Thursday, and hopefully, it will come in the mail today. I paid a little extra to get it expedited. So, I don't know. It may come today, may come tomorrow. But the thing is, is they schedule several days out in advance. And um, I've made enough orders now so that I can see the schedule at about 3 p.m. every day. If I get on at 3 p.m., I can get the hours I want. But, um, so now we're already up to scheduling Wednesday of next week. So, I I'm already not on the schedule for Monday. I'm not on the schedule for Tuesday. If I can get my red card today, I may be able to get on the schedule for Wednesday. But um, you know what, though? It's okay. It's been freezing cold out here, freezing frigid cold at nighttime. And it would have been really hard for me to stay overnight, you know, in town in Jackson somewhere because I wouldn't have had any heat and that would have been miserable. I probably wouldn't have been able to get any rest. So I don't know. God has its way of working things out. You know, I would have stayed in town. Um, but I think that that probably would have been bad for me. So anyhow, um, I'm just waiting for the mail lady to come. And hopefully she will bring me my card. 
Um, things have been going well otherwise. The van is um, running fine, knock on wood. <laughs> and um, I don't know what else to say. Betty, Betty though, <sighs> she's been extremely stressed with, you know, being in the van with me. She's a very smart dog. She knows, you know, she thinks that every time I turn on a turn signal that I'm going to be getting out of the car. <laughs> out of the van and she starts getting her little whiny stressed out so all day she's stressed out she's peed a couple times in her seat and in my seat and she's done it like three times now and I've had to you know clean it up in the middle of the day you know when I'm busy dashing and stuff like that so I don't know if and, and the thing is is I had just taken her out as well I had just taken her outside she had peed so it's a nervous thing it's not that she's having to wait too long to go pee. It's a a nervous thing that she's doing. So I don't know. I don't know if more exercise would help. I think it would. Um, it's just she hates being outside in the cold. So I'm gonna have to figure this out. She's a good dog. She's a very smart dog. But still, you know, this is kind of setting me aback a little bit time-wise because I have to pause my dash, clean up the mess, you know, sanitize the seats, cover them with something so my butt doesn't get all wet when I'm driving around. But I don't care. I still love her, you know. Anyhow, well, I'm just rambling on. Just wanted to give you a quick little update. Things are going great. Um, aside from me losing my DoorDash card. And I think that's just a sign to me that I need to sl stop, slow down, pay a little bit more attention to what I'm doing. Um, especially with important things like a, you know, a debit card. Um... And just kind of pay attention to the details a little bit more. Because some days with DoorDash, I'm just like flying by the seat of my pants. I'm really getting a lot of orders. It, sometimes it starts slow, but then it really picks up. Oh, and I did DoorDash for an hour in the dark, and I hated it. <laughs> I hate driving in the dark. But... Um, you know what? I think I'll get used to it. So anyhow, uh, this has been long enough. Uh, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.